All right, so we've got our cookie dough all ready to go. Now we're in the rolling stage. So we've got some turbinado sugar here, which is just kind of a coarser sugar. It'll give a little bit of a sparkle to the yeah. cookies once they bake. So um, I've got a cookie scoop. You could also use a tablespoon. And just you want about a tablespoon of dough. So I'm just going to scoop some out, put it in my hand, and then roll it around to kind of make a cookie dough shape little for the cookie. And then I'm gonna roll it into the sugar. And rolling it in your hand just kind of brings it together and just makes it tacky enough to, to roll in the sugar. Okay. So get it all coated. So lots of tips there. Lots the of tricks tips. And, tips and... and then you don't have to worry about spacing out the cookie dough, the cookies on your sheet right now, because we're gonna chill them. So you can crowd your pan. Normally when you bake, you want them spread out a little bit, but here you don't have to worry about it. So you can use a little Thank scoop. You. And have I told you that I love cookie dough also? As Do much you? As cookies, yes. Oh goodness, it is a you delicious about my favorite treat. Part of baking that would probably be it's the sampling. Sampling. You picked up on Sneaking that. little bites along the way. Yeah. That's a good part. Yep. And we just get it into our sugar and we just keep rolling. Keep rolling along. Rolling along. Good times. Good Absolutely. times. Absolutely. And so you said the sugar, the primary purpose again is just to add a little. Yeah. A little bit to it. A little yeah. sparkle and a little crunch. Okay. And you could do it without this. That would just be kind of like a duller chocolatey cookie, but this just gives it that little sparkly holiday crunch. And so once we've rolled a few of these, we can um, do the little indent. So thumbprint, thumbprint cookies are pretty classic. Mm -hmm. You can always just use your thumb. Uh, what I like to do, and it's just a nice little tip, is to use kind of, if you have a round end of a spatula, anything like that, you can use that to make the little indent. And that way, when you use your thumb, it's gonna be kind of irregular and your thumb might get, you know, covered in cookie dough. One-sided so this, more than yeah. the other. So you can always just take the side, the back end of a round uh, spatula and just like press it in. Oh, flatten it out a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and then they might crack around the sides. You can try to push them back together, but also they'll look cute and homemade. So Isn't that kind fine. of the part of the beauty yeah. of the cookie? Exactly. So we just want to make that little divot, which will eventually hold our ganache. So you're welcome to try that. Right. I'm gonna, some it's of a them, true test. Yes. If they crack, you can just smush them back together. And this is also helpful to do this shaping before you chill it because the dough is still so soft and malleable. This is very therapeutic. It kind of is zen. Very much so. Yeah. Were there any favorite PBS shows that like stick in your memory from when you were a kid? Oh man, um, Doctor. Uh, well, Doctor Who was one of the ones. Yeah. That, like, but like, I think about like, or me, it was I was younger, mm -hmm. and so there was the whole educational experience around Sesame Street. Oh yeah. Um, so some of those types of shows, but like the nature shows, mm -hmm. and some of the you know just some some of the things that I would see like, um, you know, some of the operas and some oh, of the yeah. classical performances from the Met and things along those lines. It was uh, yeah, it was very eye opening for me, and it's one of those things to where. I would watch it with my grandparents oftentimes, and it's like, I'm not going to be interested in this at all, mm -hmm. and then was fascinated by it. Yeah, kind of bridges generations, too. Yeah. Uh, my favorite show was Wishbone. Oh my gosh, that was I a great show. I loved Wishbone. Oh, that little dog. And I feel like they either need to bring it back, or they need to target us elder millennials who now have kids and, like, bring it back. Well, See, I feel I like I learned about literature from Wishbone. I think you're onto something. And of course, <laughs> Mr. I mean, we talk about, too, like, the classics. You get it, Mr. Rogers. I oh, mean, yeah. You can't, like, you know... And, Bob Ross, I mean, who knew? Yeah. They would talk about therapeutic Cultural, earlier yeah. and like relaxing and mm -hmm. information. Uh, but also information iconic. Yeah. It was one of those things to where it's like, I never th thought I could paint until I watched. Bob I mean, I cannot paint at sure, all. But, but at least Bob Ross made me feel like I feel could. feel like you could. You could so, follow yeah. instructions. And look at me today. I'm, yeah, I'm doing exactly what you told me to do. Very good at following instructions. Yeah. These are happy little cookies. Happy little cookies. What about you, other than Wishbone? Wishbone was a big one. Um, the old Anne of Green Gables. Oh, I love That's it. one I remember because I grew up here, so like, I remember it being like TV 34, mm -hmm. and uh, at during the membership drives, they would um, show Anne of Green Gables, and I loved it. And it's it's a different vibe now because I have little kids, and it's just they access it so differently. Like we use the PBS Kids app, and you know mm -hmm. it's just not like turning it on and seeing what's on PBS. Yeah, my it's it's explaining why I have to wait to watch this. When yes, I got it right commercials. On my iPad. They're like yeah. what? Get out of here. Oh my gosh! I remember the first time we like when commercials became like what? What is this and why? Mm -hmm. Because I was too cheap to pay for one of the <laughs> services that skipped the commercials because right. I had to watch them when I was a kid. Exactly. I feel like it's a right.